Telemedicine is the transmission of medical knowledge and expertise from a distance. When we examine a patient via telemedicine today, it may be almost the same as if we actually had the patient in front of us in our surgery. We have the opportunity to cooperate with the doctor who is at the remote site and get the major part of the entire clinical picture. Today we have a fabulous tool which is called the electronic stethoscope. The electronic stethoscope stores sounds and transmits them to a computer via Bluetooth. Then these files can be easily transferred to the central station where specialists can hear exactly what the remote doctor heard. Other examinations, like the spirogram for example, which evaluates the function of the respiratory system, produce graphs and numerical data, which can be easily transferred via telemedicine. A large part of the entire clinical information comes from palpation. It sounds strange to say that we can palpate a person from a distance. However, in the majority of the clinical cases, the information which we are looking for when we palpate a patient is so general that it is possible to be acquired with the cooperation of a person either doctor or medical assistant, who is physically present at the remote site. Ultrasonography has the peculiarity that it is very much dependent on the person who performs the examination. It's not a group of static images, but a dynamic sequence of images produced by manipulations of the ultrasound probe on the patient's body. However, a well-trained doctor or technician even if he is not an imaging specialist, can perform the examination following standard protocols and transmit the whole video for diagnosis to a specialist. The video conference allows the doctor who is at the central station to discuss together with the doctor who is at the remote site, the patient and any relatives, as if all of them were together in the same room. Various digital cameras give us reliable pictures from natural cavities of the body. In pediatrics, child's appearance is most important for diagnosis. How it reacts, how it sits, how it grabs the toy that is offered to it, how it smiles, how it cries. All this information can be easily acquired via video conference. Technology has given to us all these fabulous capabilities and will go on giving us even more. It's up to us now to use them for the benefit of the patient.